If we don't encounter liminal space in our lives, we start idealizing normalcy. Liminal what? What does that even mean? How is this related to the formation phase of SOM? Let's explore this in today's episode, but first... Our channel not only hosts the SOM series, but we have weekly Sunday gospel sharings. Really good stuff! So please subscribe to our channel and remember to turn on the notification so that you will know when a new video is up. Come on, show some love. Okay, normals. Is anything normal anymore? Father Richard Raw's quote at the beginning of this video is quite provoking, isn't it? Oh, and I'll be quoting him a lot. He made normalcy sound like the bad guy in our lives. Well, it is. Jesus said he came so that we have life and have it to the full, knowing that we are loved and have the freedom to love wholeheartedly in our unique expressions. Unfortunately, we're not taught to see life this way. One of the synonyms of normalcy is averageness, which is half a full. We're frequently presented with two perspectives of life, either half full or half empty. But I've got a question or two. If our life is half full, won't we be living our lives half-heartedly? But we're told to give our all in everything we do. And if our life is half empty, then won't we be concerned about the other half? But we're asked to not worry and be happy. No wonder we're unhappy and confused. We're presented with choices that are neither hopeful, helpful, or faithful. It gives us little to no space to ask the meaning of life, or explore the questions we have about God, ourselves, and our beloved Catholic faith. We're so focused on living life by the way of the world that we allow normalcy to enslave us by reinforcing the lies of our distorted identity. Not good enough, forgotten, second best, etc. It tricked us into believing that we are not who God says we are, His beloved. Again, no wonder we continue to believe that we will never be worthy of the good plans He has for us. Thankfully, here comes the formation phase. Formation phase in SOM is a liminal space where new transformations of mind, heart, and body occur. It is a place of renewal and restoration of the true image of God in ourselves. As Father Richard Roth puts it, it is a good space where genuine newness can begin. The word liminal is derived from the Latin word limen, which means threshold. It's that piece of slack at the foot of your door. That one. He continues explaining that liminal space is a realm where God can best get at us because our certitudes are finally out of the way. This is the sacred space where the old world is able to fall apart and big world is revealed. Imagine standing on the threshold, waiting to receive with, with fresh heart and mind to prepare ourselves for what is to come. Very much like pouring new wine into new wine skins. This might sound crazily overwhelming for you, but you will never walk alone. You will be accompanied by well-trained facilitators and formed by the teachings of the church on the nature of God, salvation, restoration and wholeness, possession, sexuality, the church itself, our mission and calling. Since you're in a good space of constant unlearning and learning, you will see inner transformation day by day. God knows how to make his move and he knows how to heal your wounds. Be courageous in asking for the grace to be continuously open and patient. The prayer only consists of three words, surprise me God. I hope this video has introduced many new, if not transformational, truths to help you get a clearer picture of what you will be saying yes to or no to. Let us know in the comment below what has been new or transformational or both. That's all for now. Please give this video a like and I'll see you next week for webisode 4, Outreach Base.